T. Clark here, and this video is going to go over the AP Computer Science A FRQ number two, and this one's going to be about the class. Uh, and again, I'm rushing this because I don't have much time after work today, so I had to get this done during lunch, and I haven't even looked at it before. So let's uh, start um, from scratch. So it's the class one, so you do start from scratch. No public class anything. They don't give you any of that code. So this question involves the signed text class, which contains methods um, about a signature. Uh, part of a string of text. So you're going to write the complete sign text class. So right away I say, okay, public um, class signed text. So that's my uh, header, and that's <laughs> one point right there. Um, so we have a constructor that takes two string parameters. So my constructor is public signed text. It's going to take two string parameters. I don't know what they're going to be. I'll just call them A and B for now. Is a first name, so I'll say first name, and the next one is the last name. Okay, so those are my two constructors. The length of the second parameter is always greater than or equal to one. Okay, so the, the first name you couldn't, you might not have a first name, but last name is at least uh, at least one character long. At least one character long. Um, the get signature method. So I'm going to have a public something get signature method um, that takes no parameters so empty parameters and it returns a formatted signature string so, oh, so this is string constructed from the first and last names according to the following rules okay so I'm gonna do that for that one if the first name is an empty string the return signature contains just the last name Actually, I wonder if you could do this on the test. I wonder if you could copy and paste this onto your um, input spot. I don't know. Maybe you could on Blue Book. I'm not sure. Okay, then the next one is if the first name is not an empty string, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even looking at this. I'm just getting it set up. Like I said, I haven't looked at this before. Um, then we have an add signature method. Uh, returns a possibly revised copy as a string parameter. Okay, so it returns a string, add signature, and it has a string signature as a parameter, maybe. Possibly revised copy of a string parameter. Okay, so we have a string parameter. We're adding a signature, so I'm just calling this sig for a signature. The parameter will contain at most one occurrence of the object's signature at either the beginning or the end of the parameter. Okay, so return string is, I might need the index of maybe, that's what I'm thinking right now, index of. Maybe contains. Um, the return string is either created from the parameter according to the following rules. Oy, oy, oy. A lot of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm not even going to look at those yet. I'm just going to ignore those. for now. Because sometimes, the reason I ignored it is because there's the table gives us more gives me more information. So the following table contains a sample code ex uh, execution sequence and the corresponding results. The code execution sequence appears in a class other than sign text. So this occurs like in, the, in your main um, or your runner or something. So we have the new text with uh, no first name and Wong. So the sign text object store one has an empty first name and last name. So I think right now um, I'm going to have to have uh, private strings that match my first name and last name. So I think I need to store those if I could type correctly in. Oh, what the? I can't just push up. I don't like autocomplete stuff sometimes. Okay, I have my first name and second name. So then my constructor, I'll finish this up. It's just going to say this one's first name equals a parameter first, and this one's second name, uh, last name, oh, first and last, not first and second, equals the last one's uh, parameter. Fix that up there. Okay, so I have my normal private instance variables for first and last name. I have my parameter for first and last name, which the first name might be empty, whatever. It just copies the empty string to the... Um, instance variable. And remember, this on the left, this dot first, this refers to the one at the top, or you could have probably put F in the 
in the parameter list and you don't need this dot, but I like putting this dot personally, so that's how I'm gonna keep it. Um, and then get signature. So what does it say? If the first name is empty string. Okay, so that's where, there we go. So if um, first dot length equals zero. So empty string, the return signature string, um, what does this say? The return signature string contains just the last name. Okay, so just return last name. Done. If I could spell it correctly, signature, signature. Okay, so if the first, uh, so this is else, if the first string does not an empty string, okay, I took care of that, then what do I want? The return string is the first letter of the first name. So first letter, return first dot substring zero comma one, first letter plus a dash, no spaces, no extra quotes, concatenated with the last name. I was about to put my last name, T. Clark. So that would, that would have been my signature, T. Clark. Um, so I want the first letter, and then a dash, and the last letter. Okay. And then what does it say? So if I have... Henri Dubois, it would be H. Dubois. That's good. If it was Grace Lopez, it would be G. Lopez. So uh, I'm not doing anything with the, um, whatchamacallits, with the uppercase or lowercase, so that should be it. So there's get signature. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Um, okay, so add signature. I might not need an index of. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to do what I did in the last one and put returns with a slash. Okay, I'll do the code right now. So, if the object signature does not occur in the string parameter of the method. If the object's signature does not occur in the string parameter. So, if sig dot index of, I am using index of, the The signatures, I'm just going to say get signature. Oh, and if it's not there, it means it's less than zero, right? Index of, I'm going to double check. Um, AP, CSA, reference sheet. And I know on Blue Book it's kind of annoying to look it up. I'm going to look up my index of anyways. Returns the index of the first occurrence, otherwise negative one is less than zero if it's not there, yes. So I'm seeing, does the um, parameter sig, in my case, contain, oh, my parentheses are messed up a little bit. I forgot one. So it does not contain, means it's less than zero, the object signature. So object signature is just get signature. If I could spell correctly, I did. At least it's, they're the same for me, at least. Okay. So the return string now, so now I have to do what, what I have to return, uh, is the value of the parameter, value of the parameter, with the signature added to the end. So there it is. Again, if the object signature does not occur in the string parameter of the method, I'm going to concatenate to the end. Okay, so that's what we have here for add. So we had um, something fox, and we had new text was, we want to add that text. So text is my sig. Um, the signature fox um, occur in this text? No, so it just returns the sig, which is the deer in this case, and then the last name fox, yeah. If the text is best wishes fox, okay, so here's another example, or another, um, another condition. So it says, if the object signature occurs at the end of the parameter, oh, in the beginning, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the beginning first. Beginning is easy. I'm gonna put that first, actually, because that's easier. Because I know if the object's signature, the index, 
of beginning occurs at the beginning of the string parameter. So I'm going to do this right here. So if, if the object's signature occurs at the beginning of the string parameter, so index of the signature occurs at the beginning means it equals zero. So that's that. If the object signature occurs at the beginning. So if the object signature is at the index of the parameter equals zero, means at the beginning. Okay, so that's that. And then the return string, this is kind of annoying trying to push enter all the time. Sorry about that, but that's just the way I'm going to work on it because um, I don't have the full screen. Okay, the return string is the value of the original parameter. The original parameter is just sig with its signature removed from the beginning and appended to the end of the parameter. So that was right here, fox thinks. So if it was fox thinks, and my, my thing is still fox, yeah, so from way up here, I have fox is my signature. I'm gonna remove it from the beginning and append it at the end. Okay, so I need the length of something. So I'm gonna say the return string is the value of the original parameter removed. So I'm gonna say string temp equals sig dot substring um, starting after the length of the signature. So get signature dot length. So if it was fox, that's three, right? So it'd be zero, one, two, three. Yeah, and it would start at the T. So I want everything to the end, so I don't need a comma, so that's just it. So temp is the signature minus the last name in this case. The temp is the parameter minus the uh, signature at the beginning. So I'll return temp plus get signature. So that signature is removed from the beginning and appended to the end. Right, so fox was taken out of the beginning and added to the end after 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 the three. Okay, so that's that should be it. I don't like this get signature everywhere, honestly. Um, whoop, I'm running out of time. I think I can finish. So string object sig That might make more sense. So object sig. Now I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it the way I had it. Okay, so again, let's check it again. If the object signature occurs at the beginning of the string, so that means the index of it is zero, the return string is the value of the original parameter. So the parameter is sig um, after the signature removed with, I think this should be the with the object's signature. So this might be a typo, honestly, with the object's signature removed from the beginning and appended to the end. Okay, so that's taken care of that. So I'm pretty sure this is correct. Okay, next one, last one. So this is just everything else, right? Everything else I don't have to worry about. Um, uh, maybe I to uh, return. What if it's none of the cases? If it's none of the cases, does it return anything? Do I even need an if statement for the th last one or just an else? Um, I'm thinking I might just need, uh, I don't need to, need to worry about this if, because the only conditions are, what are the conditions? Does it say anything? So yeah, it says the parameter will contain at most one occurrence of the object signature at either the beginning or the end of the parameter or not at all. Okay, so if it's not at all, taking care of it. If it's at the beginning, we're taking care of it. So at the end, we don't need to worry about the end because it says those are the only conditions. At most, one occurrence, what the heck are they screaming for? One occurrence of the object signature at the beginning and end. Okay, so now we're assuming it's at the end. So object signature is at the end. The return string is just the, um, 
unchanged value of parameter. That's it. Return sig. Done. I think. Is that it? So if it's at the end, best wishes Fox, and I want to add a signature, it's just best wishes Fox. That's it. Nothing happens. Yeah. Okay, that's what's going on here. G Lopez, hello. Oh yeah, so this one, G Lopez, hello. Um, the G Lopez is switched to the end after the hello. Okay, so that's it. I think I'm done with uh, AP Computer Science A, FRQ number two for 2025. We have the public class, we have the private instance variables, we have the full constructor, this dot on the left, we have the get signature, which um, uh, uh, returns either the last name, if there's no first name, or the first name, a dash, and the last name, as specified, and as seen here, yeah. And then the add signature, here, let me get rid of all these if statements, you can just see it all if you want to skip ahead to this part. Um, I did it a little bit out of order because um, I know if it's not there, if the original signature is not in the signature, in, not in the parameter sig, I'm going to add it to the end of the signature. So like dear fox here, because um, dear didn't have fox at all. And then if it's at the beginning, I know beginning is equal to zero. I'm going to skip it. So I'm going past the original signature in my parameter substring. And I'm going to take that parameter substring and add it to the, and then add to the end of it the original signature. And then if it's at the end, which is the only other case according to this, um, this sentence here, then I just return the signature that's not being um, changed at all. Okay, have a good day.